For people dealing with breast cancer or for people who may be dealing with breast cancer, understanding the role of lymph nodes is very important. Certain of the lymph nodes in our body have involvement with the progression of breast cancer and the evaluation of breast cancer and even the treatment of breast cancer. In this video, I am going to talk about normal lymph nodes so that when you have to talk about abnormal lymph nodes to your doctor, you'll have a better understanding. First of all, what are lymph nodes? Lymph nodes are part of the immune system. They have been working on your behalf since you were born, protecting you against invaders of all sorts, bacteria and other microbes that may be trying to enter the body. Lymph nodes are full of a particular kind of immune cell called lymphocytes, as well as some other cells, that create toxins to destroy invading organisms. That's their job. Lymph nodes are connected via a vast intricate network uh, to every spot on our body uh, through tubes which are called lymph vessels or lymphatic vessels. Lymph vessels carry a liquid which is clear called lymph and within lymph are many biological substances uh, and lymph is a very complex fluid um, that assist us in defending ourselves from invaders. Normal lymph nodes can be very small, um, the size of beans or even smaller, and they are present in great abundance in certain parts of our body, our necks, under our arms, groins, and other places internally near where threats to our body might occur. Now, lymph nodes in certain places are very important in breast cancer. And so I'm going to say the names of these places so that you understand the terminology. Lymph nodes that are important for breast cancer exist in about five different locations. First of all, there are the lymph nodes that exist under the arm, in your underarm or armpit or whatever you want to call it. We refer to that part of the body as the axilla, and so lymph nodes in that part of the body are called axillary lymph nodes. So that's the first and usually the most important place where lymph nodes come into play. The next place that important lymph nodes exist is behind this bone called the sternum, which is in the middle of the chest. The lymph nodes that exist behind this bone, some on the right, some on the left, are called internal mammary lymph nodes. Internal mammary lymph nodes. So we have axillary lymph nodes, internal mammary lymph nodes. Now, something that sounds very much like internal mammary lymph nodes, but is not internal mammary lymph nodes, are lymph nodes that can be present in the breast itself. And these are called intramammary lymph nodes. That is to say, within the breast. So you've got axillary, internal mammary, intra mammary lymph nodes. There are two other places which are much less important, um, but you should know about them. Here's your collarbone, that bone running crosswise. Beneath that collarbone, you can have some lymph nodes. They are called infraclavicular, infraclavicular lymph nodes below the collarbone. And the final area for normal lymph nodes to be present is above that collarbone in this little hollow here. And those are called supraclavicular, supraclavicular lymph nodes. So we have axillary lymph nodes, internal mammary lymph nodes, intramammary lymph nodes, infraclavicular lymph nodes, 
and supraclavicular lymph nodes. All of these may come into play in one way or another in the world of breast cancer, and I'll talk about that in another video.